wonderful bullish move in the precious metals specifically gold and silver i asked you to remain long about 1788 for gold and 20 till the time silver trades about 23 we can always remain bullish and see both have achieved 1821 and 2430 levels so i hope you all profited now what to expect today can we continue with the rise and expect them to rise more rise further achieve higher highs or can we expect a drop and if you have switch position you should take in order to profit today we will see with the help of charts and indicators first we'll look into gold followed with silver do watch till the end listen to it carefully note down the levels and just stick to the levels if it's a buying entry buy it if it's a sell entry sell it that's it let's start first gold followed with silver and yes do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon now look at the early look at the early charts for gold you can see there is a clear cut wall here at 1820 levels and with that as resistance it may try to retrace a little once you see it trading above 1821 you can buy again today right now it appears it is it, it is a hurdle for gold right now that it uh, at 1820 levels and if it breaks past certainly more bullishness can be expected right now it is trying to retrace the probable retracement levels or support levels are going to come at around 1812 1810 levels 1812 previously provided it a resistance now 1810 1808 it certainly are going to be the good support levels there is a probability that it can try to retrace till there now at the same time look at the formation there see on the early chart this is a bullish formation in which it is trying to trade and this time it has come out of this probability and just that we may see a little retracement before it likes to reverse because see the entire day is left and it may try to drop first before taking a bounce back this is just on the early chart so let's have a further detail look directional movement here is bullish the stock elastic is looking downwards the macd is trying to cross over for a sell there is a possibility that it may try to retrace a bit rsi is also trading near to the highs there now look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts see the formation here is clear cut resistance at 18 20 21 multiple red candles but at the same time if you look at this it is trying to get the resistance at around 18 15 18 14 levels and see if it breaks past the zone see previously this was the resistance and since then it has dropped now it has created higher resistance and possibly it may try to retrace a little once it draws below this zone at 18 15 14 you can expect 18 10 18 08 as a very good support level and breaking below 18 08 certainly a little more bearishness might take it in towards 1800 levels again Let's have a further detail look here. Directional movement moderately bullish. Stock I stick is overbought and now looking downwards. And if you look at the MACD, this is trying to converge here. It is seeing the highs. It is now trying to look downwards. The RSI is overbought here. Likewise on the three R charts. On the three R charts too, similar is the formation. See, this was the previous resistance zone. It has created a higher resistance zone now. And any point of time, if you see it trading above eighteen twenty one, you can remain long. That is very clear. Right now, it is trying to retrace. Probability is that we may see eighteen fourteen levels, and then eighteen ten eighteen zero eight levels below that, it can try to achieve eighteen hundred also. A little retracement so far. Directional movement is here is bullish. The stock I stick is overbought on the three R charts. The MACD is also trading with divergence. It is seen the height is curving here, so probability is that it may converge here. RSI is also overbought. And if you look at the four R charts, on the four R charts, similar similar observation, higher highs are done. Probability of a retracement exists. You have to remain cautious with the longs for a little while. Here also extremely divergent and bullish. It may try to converge a bit. The stock I stick overbought. The MACD is also divergent and bullish. It has achieved the peak probability of it to converge exists. And if you look at the RSI, this is. Also on the four hour charts trading overbought. Now let's have a look at the daily charts. Now on the daily charts we have observed. See this is the pole, this is the flag, and this is the bullish flag here. It is still trying to trade in this bullish channel, and there could be a breakout sooner or later. If not today, possibly tomorrow or day after tomorrow, there could be a further breakout which can be expected. Now as we have observed yesterday also, and I am telling you again that it is taking the support from the twenty period moving average and trying to trade bullish. Yet again, yesterday twenty period moving average has provided it a very good support, which is right now situated at around seventeen eighty four eighty five levels. Only bearishness is if it trades below seventeen eighty levels. This is very clear. 
Now look at the daily charts and if you look at the daily charts, see one bullish candle, retracement, further bullish candle and look at the behavior of gold in past, see couple of bullish candles, retracement, then a single bullish candle, then retracement and now this is second bullish candle here after couple of red candles, probability exists that it can give you further second bullish candle also. So what could happen probably is it may try to retrace throughout the day and with US cash session again we may see a little rise. So yes 1810, 1808 levels are achievable and that may provide a very good support for gold. With that as support if it tries to rally and breaks past 1821 again you can remain long for 1836 and 1850 levels that are my favorite numbers. I have been shouting this for long. I told you in my previous analysis also till the time gold trades above 1740. In this month, I have told this several times, I am reiterating it again till the time gold trades above 1740, target is towards 1836-1850 levels, that is my expectation. Now the probability is very high that it may try to achieve this sooner or later. Hence, and uh, keep your positions with those who want to take a positional trade, but be cautious. Directional movement here is bullish, stochastic looking upwards, the MACD again trying to converge crossover for a bullish move, right now it is trading in sell side and the RSI trading near to the highs. Considering this, for the day below 1814, you can expect a little drop, which, but remember 1810, 1808 are going to be a very good support, then 1805, then 1801. Only and only if it, you see it trading below 1800, you can expect a further drop, which might take it till towards 1795, 1791, and then below that 1784 levels it can erase the previous gains also i don't expect that to happen probability of it to break out on the upside at 1821 exists and achieve higher highs at 1836 1850 levels also exists you have to trade with caution buy at 1821 sell at 1814 but remember on the downside you have to be cautious and be observant if you are taking a sell entry you have to trade with a strict stop loss at your entry price with just two dollars of move put your stop loss to your entry price and trade accordingly now let's have a look at silver silver in the early trade today has achieved 2430 levels those who recall i have told you many multiple times 22 to 24 when it was at 22 dollars i told you 24 is the next target now at 24 the possible target next is 25 and 26 25 25.5 26 dollar levels are certainly achievable this is the next slab which is it has entered but see this it is also getting a resistance here at 24 20 levels and it is trying to retrace it back a bit the support there on the downside at $24 is going to be important because below $24 the next support is directly at $23.80 which is definitely a very good support. Below $23.80 you can expect $23.60, $23.50 levels the next support level and then $23.20 levels to be seen. So only sell entry today is below $24 where you can expect a little more drop. Till the time it trades about $24 you have to remain cautious as uh, see it has given a good bullish breakout yesterday it can continue with this momentum. Directional movement extremely divergent and bullish. A stock stochastic which has seen the overbought levels has cooled down considerably just with the slightest of the drops. See the stock stochastic has come back to comfortable levels. But the MACD here is crossing over for a sell, which means that there is a probability either it can try to trade sideways with the uh, slight drop till towards 24 or 2290 or 20, uh, 2390 or 2380 levels and then probably a bounce back from those levels can be expected. RSI is extremely overbought and hence a possibility of a drop is there on the early charts. Now look at the 2 hour charts. On the 2 hour charts, see first of this higher highs this time. See the highs of this channel are at 2440. This time it is just retracing from around 2430 levels. Also remember this fact that the rise retracement and again taking a reversal once you see it trading below 2400 or 24 dollars you can expect 2390 2380 remember 2380 2375 are going to be a very very strong support and only and only if it breaks past this you can expect a further sharper drop directional movement divergent and bullish stochastic looking downwards it was overbought now comfortable and if you look at the MACD, this is bullish here trying to converge crossover for a sell. RSI is overbought on the 2 hour charts. And if you look at the 3 hour charts, on the 3 hour charts, similar is the observation. It traded outside the Bollinger Bands. It achieved the highs of the Bollinger Bands. Now trying to retrace a bit. And possibility is there that if you see it trading about 24. 
30 levels again yes you can stay long for 24 41st target and then beyond that 24 60 levels to be seen and beyond that 24 80 25 dollars if not today possibly tomorrow or this week or this month we may see 25 dollars till the time it trades or stays about 24 dollars one can stay bullish now on the downside 2380 very good support here then 2360 and below that only a good drop might take it till towards 2320 levels see this is the consolidation zone from where it has risen and some point in time it may again try to achieve the, those zone now if you look at the behavior here see bullish run retracement consolidation bullish run higher highs yes the possibility for it to achieve 25 dollars is still exist directional movement bullish stock stochastic is overbought on the three hour chart looking downwards the macd is extremely divergent and bullish probability for it to converge exist the rsi is also trading near to the highs and if you look at the 4 hour chart, similar is the observation on the 4 hour charts. Now, probably this candle may end in red and the next candle might take it till towards $24. And from there, we will see how it behaves at 24 and 2380 zone. This is going to be a very strong support zone. Rather, I will say 2375. Directional movement here is extremely divergent and bullish. Stochastic overbought. The MACD, divergent and bullish, achieved the peak. And the RSI is also trading overbought. Now look at the daily charts. On the daily charts, I told you multiple times that it is trading with the support at 20, uh, 20 period moving average now situated at around $23 levels and see the highs there very well within this channel. The median is here somewhere at 23.80 levels and now it is trading on the first half of or the top half of this channel and possibility that it can continue bullish and uh, achieve the highs of this channel exist which is right now situated at around $24.80, $25 levels. Now, whether this is going to happen today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, that needs to be seen. But yes, till the time it trades about 23, certainly one can remain bullish. Directional movement, moderately bullish. Stock stick looking upwards here. And if you look at the MACD, this is again trying to converge crossover for a buy. RSI is near to the highs. Considering this, yes, you can sell today 24 dollars or 2400 but then expect 2390 2380 and 2375 now till 2375 it has got very very good support here on the downside it may try to breach it it may try to break it the next target is going to be below 2370 uh, 80 levels is going to be 2360 and then below that you can expect 23 40 23 20 levels which are very very good support about 24 30 levels Yes, you can again expect a good rise which might take it till towards 2440, 2460, 2480 and 25 dollar levels also. 25 dollar levels certainly is achievable. So remember till the time it trades about 24, now it may try to trade in the box between 24 and 26. The probability for it to achieve 25.525 is very very high in the month of December itself. You can keep your positions accordingly. Trade accordingly, trade with the stop loss, trade with the tailing stop loss. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much.